Greetings, Vasco Avengers. Welcome back to Dusker's Weekly Challenge for week 28 of 2020. Last time we left, we visited this auto trade and got ourselves some of the trap and the mines. Our interface seems to start to deteriorate, so I actually want to fix that actually. Uh, one of the ways is by scrapping Sarah because Sarah only has 70 drone HP in total. Uh, I mean, for the uh, her highest drone HP. I'm very sorry, Sarah. And then for the rest of the. Oh, why did I. I forgot why I eventually buy motion with only 50. Uh, 10 scraps. I might as well just gonna scrap this one as well because, uh, yeah, for some reason I bought the version that has zero uh, motion charge. Yeah, so I'm just gonna sell, oh wait, no, rather repair the interface sizes because I still need it for ship scan and I still have yet to get myself uh, either scan or prop module, so yeah. So far, drone is still pretty fine. I have, I'm not gonna scrap hell just yet. Uh, my personal tip in weekly challenge is to uh, scrap the lowest drones once you reach five drones in your uh, drone con drone drone slots like this, so that you will have eventually two empty drone slots and. Uh, the possibility of you to find two drones in a ship tends to be pretty random and there was one time where I got three drones uh, in outpost so yeah even by this uh, much you will still m be missing out a couple of drones but that's pretty rare actually if I think about it so yeah that's why I tend to uh, empty out this two slots basically hmm I also forgot that we had long-range scanner so you know what since I still have yet to get uh, the galaxy this universe view to be all visible I'm just gonna try to install one since it has hey, it only has 8% of chance of failing but once you use it it uh, raises the fail probability by pretty much 3% so we're just gonna uninstall that thing and install reinstall ourselves the transporter this is a small universe holy crap you only have yourself four system here it seems to be from I don't know usually you can get five or something well I guess it's been my week to make this kind of video, huh? Interesting. Alright, uh, I think we're just really gonna have to start right away. Is there an uh, derelict under the tent under the Nintalasa? I have yet. To oh, never mind. There it is. Ah, uh, yeah. Good old bug right there. Talasa is meant to be salvage sea with two infestation type around uh, this area, but uh, this bug caused the. Uh, uh, the sh uh, object selector to have the same target as uh, this one. Oh god, uh, it 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 bugs, and I'm I better not mess that up like that again. You know what? Um, since we kind of messed that up, uh, we're just gonna go to the main menu first and uh, reload the game. Yeah, that's kind of the official bug that I was talking about. So this is meant to be Talasa. I'm just gonna go to this other trade and not to uh, mess around that the last thing. Huh. So this is gonna be a pretty easy one then. Uh, you don't have to plan too much on routing, uh, making plans for your routes. Just gonna uh, going back and forth between the, all the systems basically. Just as long as it doesn't cost you uh, to jump cells because. Uh, when that certain system is pretty much out of the circle, 
that means it's gonna cost you either two or three jump fuels depending on uh, the distance I mean the furthest means that it will cost you more jump fuels yeah so ideally you just wanna uh, visit the one that's like the nearest from your current position pretty much so if I got correctly uh, Kali system doesn't have um, auto trade or something so we don't have a mission that requires us transporter uh, like basically like an outpost or something so yeah we just really gotta go all easy in this cell it seems to be hmm government B is also pretty high in uh, proportion fuel so at this rate I think I want to prioritize on getting better ship than uh, this private B that I'm currently at because it only has one ship slot if government B is the quote unquote the man I may as well just gonna uh, come and do this government B if that's the case then but for now I'm still gonna still stick with uh, private B due to the higher proportion fuel hmm take C and this is salvage if I recall correctly yeah it is Ooh, this fuel depot is pretty far actually. Hmm. Yeah, it's gonna come later. All right. Uh, this is government B. I do want that transporter. Yes. Mm. Motion generator trap right. So interface still okay. Hmm. Yeah. Alright, getting ourselves thermal drawing in room 2, to infestation type, medium cooling degree, and volatile age in government B. Alright, just gonna start right away, start at 7 minutes of this video. I think I should check that uh, airlock, yeah. Uh, why did I type A2 again? I mean A3. Hmm, what's this? Collector. Hmm. Alright. Alright. I'm just gonna... Check it like this then. There's no swarm around here, so I could just do this kind of trick over time. Hmm. It tends to catch you off guard sometimes because uh, this kind of uh, pre scanned rooms tend to uh, have a possibility not to show defense. And that really can get, catch you off guard sometimes. Hmm. Especially if Swarm will be present in the derelict you're currently in, basically. I'm just gonna... Uh, pay this time spawn. Because this is already a scanned room and uh, I basically don't have really much of a problem with it. This is only prime. <laughs> Alright, we're just gonna put it on Brandon. Why not? I'm gonna stand by Ian at A1. Oh no. Oh, this is not good. Mm. So, round room 6, huh? Alright, uh, that's room top there. Which means we're gonna have to prioritize uh, checking around the left side. Of the stair, like okay, this is the next generator, apparently. Good, good. Mm, I'm gonna go from 12 to check this upper room right here. Aha, absolute leaper. Hmm. Okay, I know what to do with you. Uh, no, actually not yet. I want to see what I can get from this door right here. Good. 
Ah, free access. Nice. This government B only even has six B field charge. Pretty much a no no, unfortunately. Um. So it's gonna hit in 5:59. That's almost six minutes. Holy hell! All right, I'm just gonna uh, bring the leaper this way. It will automatically move uh, towards this direction as long as you're pretty much not in the room. If it wants to move, that is. But not now. Because slime hammer. I have still pretty much one more, one more minute before uh, the radiation decides to hit room six and the room above that room six. Oh god. Oof. All right, that's close. I already see that leaper moving. Still have yet to know what uh, interface holds in this derelict. Does it have survey, ship scan, even defense? Still have yet to notice that. All right, we're just gonna uh, be very close in this uh, one right here. Hmm, that one has a seven. Yep, definitely gonna. Stick it to this one. No leaper. Because if there's a leaper, it should have been moving around here already. Oh, no interface as well around here, huh? It's pretty interesting. Yeah, we're just gonna be out at this point. What's the last infestation, I wonder? Alright, we're gonna have to definitely power this one. Having only one slot, uh, one ship slot in the derelict uh, has its own uh, advantage and disadvantage. Ooh, even survey. Boom. Ooh. Yeah. Glad we're out of that uh, particular room already. <laughs> Thanks, transporter, but I'm not needing it so much. <laughs> I don't want to find my drones just yet. Oh, hello. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna visit this one then. I don't think I see anything worth the visiting in that part. This uh, interface only has survey too, so that's not much of a uh, advantage for us, uh, really. I'm not really seeing any uh, valuable stuff there. If I were to see anything, it will all be the gray goose. The green goose, rather, not the gray goose. Alright, we're done then. Yeah, this is even less of a uh, common durable derelict because it only has one uh, ship upgrade, and that's the one with the permanent one. It's good though, it's a collector, but uh, I kind of want the one that has the um, modifiable ship upgrade basically. So we got the drone to the fleet, Bry has been added to Brandon. Mm, the next stop we're going to go to definitely we'll take C, Richard Bottoms. Uh, only 19 scrap, scrap capacity though, but it can have 7 uh, propulsion. Which is second second of my uh, preference when it comes to commandeering a ship. Which is really not ideal because uh, the scrap capacity in this kind of ship tends to be very low. Oh my god, I only got two scraps from this uh, government B. That's uh, wow. I don't know what to say about that. Alright. 
Okay, Kelly has another 90, which means I'm gonna have to, uh, unfortunately, scrap one of you. And this time I'm just gonna scrap Hell. I'm sorry, Hell. Alright. Uh, okay, still with transporter, but uh, I'm starting to question if I really want to use the transporter because this is a, a C class of a Moteki, but uh, then again, uh, C class Moteki tends to be pretty big. Uh, size wise, uh, even can be compared to uh, its B instance. Hmm. One of these, one of these days, I would prefer to use remote power actually. And by then, I will re I will use a couple of uh, firmly installed or destroy chip upgrade because I don't have the transporter transporter with me. Yep. In a way, I really miss. Uh, ship with uh, two ship slots <laughs> but uh, it's okay i could have to kind of pay my price in that regard hmm Muteki C can also have a uh, drum and drone uh, lying in there too i think hmm i think after this i'm just gonna be out from this uh, system instead of visiting halifax despite us having uh, all two uh, Pollution reserve, but uh, we're not gonna use that. I prefer to save that one in case we will eventually uh, sell our fuels. Basically, oh, there is a total ship upgrade there. Interesting. So only one infestation. That one infestation can lay around this eight three thing. Also, a tip of the, a tip for this uh, leaper or brute that I didn't mention previously. Uh, once you park in the doorway or airlock uh, that has a leaper in the center of this, it will not stop going towards your uh, this airlock as long as your drone is basically still in the room that you were from. Let me give you an example in case this one is the leaper. I'm gonna start this mission at 17.30 If there's a leaper here, it will immediately move to A3 Even after Tweaky is basically going off from A3 I think I'm wasting myself too much here And uh, not much of a presentation around here it seems Which is good Yeah so, no infestation here, oops. Alright, this is another long range scanner. Which we will not be using anymore, I don't think. B fuel charge even much poorer compared to what we have now. So no. Also, this is a Moteki C, and three of the ship upgrades uh, slots have been in A3. So, eh. oh, there's an open door there. I mean, you can kind of expect that since uh, you're not using transporter. Ah, uh, see what I'm saying? Basically, that leaper is pretty much just moving around here. Oh, I can move it to A3 if I want to. Okay, let me give, let me give you this one other uh, trick that I did just in the previous episode, actually. I'm just gonna open D13. This is gonna be a bit of a hack, but I'm using it regardless. You can see the leaper right there. Just ready to get vented. Also, the reason I use this vacuum command is because um, when you vacuum a room, it has a chance to break uh, any electronics or even doors. So yeah, I tend to use that uh, to prevent any doors from breaking. I'm just gonna use this uh, open and close quick commenting. Oh wait, this is not room 3, it's room 2. 
There you go. Hmm. A good question is whether we have Leaper roaming around that uh, open door right there. And so far we still have yet to know if we will get a uh, ship scan in this mission or not. I guess it doesn't hurt to use motion. I mean, it doesn't, I'm just... I just tend to... Uh, pretty much save my explore upgrade usage. We have any leaper in that uh, room, I because nothing seems to go back and forth between that room. Or those rooms, either. Hmm. Yeah, I think we're way much done now. I shall, uh, I shall place Jeff instead of just keep waiting because uh, by this I will notice if the leaper is actually still in this uh, room or not because that room there is pretty much clear and uh, we're just gonna wait for something to come up and thankfully we only really have one leaper that's nice to know all right we're kind of timed though so Because this is a medium horn to yeah, it is. Mm. We don't have ship scan again. Because uh, if you have ship scan, uh, the console will tell you uh, It's basically telling you something in yellow There is no working comment on this terminal uh, More or less something like that, basically I kind of found this and then I told this to LB And since then we've been pretty much abusing, quote unquote, abusing that in uh, daily It's been fun <laughs> For scrap only, but it's okay. It's also I serve for that toe in which I don't apparently, so I'm just gonna have to let it uh, let it fail. The reason why I'm letting it fail because uh, where is it? Oh yeah, it's modification, right? Toe needs eleven scraps to be repaired while assembly new so will cost you 10 so in my preference or it's been the weekly player's preference for me and Dino rather uh, we tend to just uh, let this toe to break first before eventually we assemble the one yeah hmm because of my poor scrap capacity and I'm already reaching 13 hmm I'm sort of think that I should start to raise my uh, turn HP because uh, this is probably not everyone knows, but uh, increasing your turn HP in weekly challenge tends to be the way to get higher score in weekly challenge. Uh, I think people see this as a what the heck and why kind of thing, but yeah, it just. I don't know. I don't know how to explain that really. It just kind of been the trick, and I just following the suit. So yeah, yeah. I think I'm just gonna upgrade it uh, only once because uh, I still need more additional scrap in case I will visit uh, auto trace eventually. Hmm. Okay. So now I still have you to have um, quarantine bypass or something, but I do feel like I'm in need for. A new ship that has hmm, a lot of 
me some military pee actually. Yeah, you know what? I'm just gonna visit this other trade first and uh, I shouldn't have uh, put my scraps into my turn first, but uh, eventually I just kind of did it, so eh, it happens. Hmm. Yeah, if anything, I only need. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm not gonna return there just yet. I need the quarantine bypass. I'm just gonna visit uh, Sentry uh, and just jump ahead into this uh, off street first. I meant to go here, but uh, I want to go there, but uh, uh, this one's pretty much the closest to do the other uh, ship targets that I want to visit, basically. But worst case scenario, it uh, it will eventually hold the one with the quarantine bypass because this one definitely doesn't have it, <laughs> sadly. Hmm, the trap, the lure is nice, actually. I like lure. Well, on top of motion, that is. I also like my transporter to get a bit of an upgrade and uh, this is not mandatory as well, so I'm just gonna sell my long range scanner and buy myself all this uh, upgrades actually. Always good to get yourself a couple of reserves, even if it seems that you're really not needing it as much as of yet, basically. But it's, again, it's always good to have some reserves. Um, okay, finally we got the probe, which is very nice. I'm just gonna get it in mind and. This is what I'm talking about for the interface being kind of uh, inventory worth because uh, military can have a lot of ship defense especially at military outposts, holy hell, it can reach uh, even up to 10 ship defenses in that uh, uh, military outpost especially if it's actually a really big one too like it's the heaven of ship defenses uh, I'm gonna take you there someday I will. Okay, so we're gonna reinstall the transporter back. Uh, I plan to get myself um, some fuels to be sold, but uh, hmm. because selling fuel will uh, pretty much grant you 15 scrap, which is a lot actually. Uh, this other trade holds 22 scrap capacity, so you know what? I'm just gonna do that actually. Hmm. Hold on, hold on, give me a second. Um, hmm, even by this, we can eventually start to visit the fuel depot too. Something. Hmm. You know what? Uh, because fuel depot, uh, fuel depots or space station will have, uh, Tend to have extra fuels if you tend to be lucky enough, but uh, we're just really gonna taste the water here and see how it goes basically. Mm. Paying all the stuff for the sake of fuels. 15. This is kind of one of the weird ways to start things. See what I'm saying? I just tend to do that. Uh, you can, as always, go uh, reverse the uh, replay this part where I start to sell some stuff, eventually leading me to more scrap and such. Yeah, that's kind of what I'm in, really. All right, so since we have 24 scraps and we're just basically uh, emptying this auto trade, really, for the sake of the scrap and such and such, just gonna up. Uh, upgrade Jeff's HP with more scrap basically. Mm, I think that's enough. The issue with only having uh, this kind, this much of a scrap capacity is that you will have to be actively keeping an eye on the, your scrap count or else your uh, scrap will get uh, basic, basically over, over capacity basically and it's not gonna get count into your uh, scrap count and basically you're just gonna have to suffer on uh, losing a couple of uh, scrap there pretty unfortunate but yeah that's kind of how it works so the next derelict i think this is gonna be my last one in this uh, episode basically because i'm about to start uh, the daily challenge pretty much soon i think 
Corinthian, Corinthian, Corinthian. Ah, is that that's kind of a bit of a tongue twister for quarantine? I cannot think this for real. But I think I'm gonna sell majority of my scraps for. Uh, I mean, convert my scrap for 300 HP for majority of the pot because uh, this ship can be pretty rich with scraps, I think. Let's do that. Yep, we only have four scraps and we're pretty much cursed with all the scraps here. I could also just sell um, the, all these uh, upgrades because I'm not gonna need them as much, but I'm gonna still need the transporter, transporter regardless. Hmm. Yeah, I'm still gonna need the motion then, in case I will have to really be done with this uh, mission as soon as possible. Alright, shut Scrap found in room 2. Alright. Alright, I'm gonna start at 31.20. Nice. The reason I have a uh, quadruple F for my prop command is because uh, I just really cannot be bothered to type PR because uh, it's also an autocomplete for Pry in this regard, and I'm just somewhat cannot be bothered by typing PR. Oh, okay. Sentry is one of our station type. Oh, nice. So the fan that is located in room with an active signal will pretty much disable that fan to work if we have swarm as our present infestation site. This is gonna be pretty risky, but I have to do it. Well, not really having to do it. Okay. No leaper, I don't think. Because if there's sleeper, it will immediately jump on me. Oh, 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 you have extra gather. Very nice. This is also the room with the transport signal, but... Uh, oddly enough, rogue slime can still occur in a room in, with a uh, transport signal. It's pretty unfortunate, for, unfortunate on its own, but uh, yeah, it's kind of exciting, sadly. Mm. I will explore further, but uh, pretty much nearing slime summer now, so would rather not do that. Nice. I should have parked at D31, really. I should have done that, but <laughs> unthinkable, unthinkable. Alright. I might have, as well just want to explore room to first, huh? Oh, another drone! As I was saying, this is why I tend to empty my... Uh, drone slots by two. Because barge A and salvage A can be as uh, pretty much rich, rich as this to get some uh, as much as two drones. And this one even has a broken scan, so I'm 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 actually very glad to get myself uh, this probe uh, to work with first. Hmm. Also, probably is super handy, especially to notice you if the room you're currently in or about to explore will have the infestation or not, just in case you're not sure of things really. Though normally people would prefer scan because scan is just a quick type of scan and it will eventually scan the room basically. Uh, more like fulfilling the purpose of 
uh, rim scanning much faster compared to probe. I'm gonna have to open T31. Alright. And then just powering this for a bit for Slime Summer. There you have it. Wait, what? Ah, that one. Alright. Hmm. Oh, yeah, okay. Uh, I need to let my turn out of. <laughs> This one first because I don't think it powers that uh, part of the room that uh, Tiki was saying previously. I gotta check in case slime here. Slime can be nasty. Do not recommend. Alright, fair. Cut. Could be better, I have to say, but eh. You hear that? That's the sound of an actual swarm actually roaming around room 2 there. Is this room 2? Yeah, it is room 2. Okay, you have yet to hear that? Let me bring you that. Now you can hear that, right? Good. Now, we prefer to move this kind of a bat somewhere around... I don't know, you know what, I'm just gonna move it around room 12 because I just... Even in a transport mission, I just gotta be sure if this kind of a door, uh, unexplored rooms will eventually be free. Uh, or rather not getting attacked by the swarm. But we're just gonna wait until uh, this bed is just moved somewhere. Unless I'm just gonna make it worse. Ooh, oh, never mind. Okay. Okay, this is bad because that's 550. I'm just gonna type end then. Oh, there's some sort in there. Intriguing. I'm just gonna park Twitchy here. Oh, well, rest in peace for the swarms then. I'm kind of glad in a sense that I actually trapped him there, which is very nice on me, of me. <laughs> because of course, Swarm will die faster than Sentry uh, does actually. So I'm just gonna launch my probe, and if there's anything else that I can grab in that room 12, I can always uh, shield my way in. Yeah, nothing much. Oh yeah, also something about transporter is that this upgrade will not deteriorate. Um, I mean to to in in a chance to increase the failure probability because it's it's gonna be used passively if there's a ship upgrade laying around that room, for example. And as long as you don't visit the room with active transport signal. Like quote unquote actively, um, yeah, you'll be fine. So I'm just gonna leave that probe to that room first. And if there is no buzzing around this uh, part of the room, I'm just gonna open D19 then. Unless it's gonna have a room with the sentry actually. And no, it doesn't react to anything. That's good. Hmm. And this is why I love probe. It's just very accountable in so many ways. But uh, enough, enough pricing probe actually. I'm gonna kill that sentry last eventually. Oh. Oh, this is the quarantine bypass I'm looking for. Very dope. Ah, second sentry. We have trap. 
Uh, in which I'm just going to use one of them now, actually. Oh yeah. Trap doesn't work because uh, it collides between transporter and trap. Yeah, that makes sense. So both of these comments cannot work under the, under the same uh, first three letters, so yeah. Okay, that's the first century. And that's the second century. God, they could be kissing together. Not gonna lie. Alright. Yes, this is why I... Converted all my scraps into... Patron HP first. <laughs> You can expect yourself to get really, really rich after uh, this mission, basically. No feel in this one, though, so it's got a bit uh, of a disappointment there. What's that? Ooh, we do have ship defense. I don't have a working uh, interface on me, though, so uh, yeah. Alright, the rest of this derelict needs to be visited by that uh, A2... Transporter. Oh wait, no, I mean generator. Wow. I'm just gonna close this first. Just being a nice, nice fellow of me. And I need to not forget to grab that room 18 uh, ship upgrade. Because I'm really gonna need it f to explore to the other derelicts eventually. Stop. Don't go there. Go to your master that is in... There. Good. Very nice. Very nice. Oh! Sorry, Jeff. And that's about it, really. Swarm and Sentry. I love that combination. Uh, well, of course, for the sake of uh, faster exploration. You can just really count on them. Alright. That's it, really. Yep. Good, good. 12 scraps in total. Uh, and uh, I think 50% of it comes from the sentry scraps too, which I love. Uh, the scan is deteriorating unfortunately, so I'm not gonna use it until uh, maybe my probe also deteriorates to yellow. My uh, scan when it comes to that eventually. So yeah. I appreciate you all for watching. Uh, feel free to leave the comment once I get this video up first, that is. And uh, in the future uh, episodes, I hope I'm gonna be pretty much less talky since I pretty much uh, covered ground the base of this weekly. So, yeah, thank you.